hello to you in this question we have we're trying to calculate what i think really is the nominal interest rate that would need to be charged if the expected rate of inflation is seven percent and the real rate of return is five percent so what this question is getting at uses something called the fisher equation a very useful uh, rule of thumb in macroeconomics what it says is the real percent change uh, equals the nominal which is the non-inflation adjusted percent change minus in this case it's expected inflation or just the rate of inflation or that could be said the, the change in the price level so in this case we have a target of five percent we don't know what the nominal rate is i'm going to call this uh like nominal i and i uh, and we know that the expected rate of inflation is 7%. So the nominal rate of inflation that we would, or sorry, the nominal rate of interest that I would need to charge on this would be um, 12%, okay? So in other words, if I, if I was a bank or a lender and I charged 12% and I expected the nominal, or sorry, I expected the inflation rate to increase or, or be, five percent then that would sorry seven percent then that would give me a five percent rate of return so i can plug that back in and check uh or i've just got 12 uh so the nominal rate is 12 the expected inflation rate is seven this gives me a five percent rate of return um just to do like a different example say that you knew um uh, you were going to charge like, I don't know, uh, you, you were going to get charged a mortgage rate of like 6%. That's your nominal mortgage rate. And then uh, let's say that the bank calculates that the real, so this would be nominal, lowercase i, and the real interest rate that they're collecting is 3%. You might be asked, what is the inflation rate? So we just plug this back into our formula here. 3%, which is this formula right here. 3% equals 6%, which is the nominal rate, minus uh, whatever the inflation rate is. And uh, that would be a, a, an inflation rate of 3%, okay? Uh, another form of this question sometimes is asked where um, the nominal rate doesn't change. And then we've changed the inflation rate from an expected rate of 7% to maybe 8%. We ask who is uh, benefits or who, who suffers from that situation. So there's some kind of some rules that you can use for that with fixed rate lending or, or borrowing, depending on where you're, where you're at on the equation. Um, the inflation will help or unanticipated inflation, I might say, that will help borrowers and inflation will hurt lenders. And, and this is because the money that they get paid back with is worth less than the money they borrowed. And if I'm a borrower, I'd rather pay back money that's worth less than the money I actually borrowed.